After studying Chinese for years, I've come to the conclusion that learning how to write Chinese is nearly useless. After all, 虽然我住在台湾，我这边只学了十多个字。In this video, I'm going to go over why this is and give you some tips on what you should be doing instead. Omenkaishiba. Chinese character writing is not used much in daily life, even if you live in a Chinese-speaking country like I do. This makes sense when we consider the degree to which we write English in daily life. The only time I write English at all is when I'm filling in a form or jotting down a shopping list. My written communication, whether it's emails, essays, notes, or text messages, is entirely typed. I bet yours is too. Chinese or any other language is no different. The only time I have ever needed to write any Chinese was when I was filling in a form with my address here in Taipei. For each character I did not remember how to write, I simply looked up on my phone and followed along. That one minute of writing down my address by hand was the only time in my life I ever had to write Chinese. Ironically, the only time writing Chinese is actually required is in Chinese classes themselves. I avoided this by self-studying Chinese, armed only with the information on the internet and an application I helped build for learning Chinese characters called Hansa Hero. In fact, I've met many who have quit their classes here in Taipei because of this writing requirement, instead moving on to private schools or tutors that are more flexible in nature. Although many people understand that writing Chinese is rarely used, they still think it leads to better Chinese skills somehow. But that is just not true. The purpose of most who are learning Chinese is to better understand Chinese media and/or to be able to communicate in Chinese. In this sense, we can break down the purpose of learning Chinese into four discrete aspects: understanding spoken media, understanding written media, verbal communication, and written communication. If we look closely, the only thing that writing will help us with is written communication, but not really, because most written communication, despite the name, is not written; it's typed. Now you may be thinking that learning writing will help you better understand characters and thus better understand written media. Not really. After all, you can learn characters without learning how to write them. In fact, I helped create a web application Hansa Hero that helps many do just that. We teach learners thousands of characters and vocabulary words without requiring any writing or writing knowledge. I learned all the characters I know this way and can now read Chinese manga and books without much difficulty. So I know from experience that learning a character and learning its writing are distinct and separate tasks. The one thing that writing may help with is remembering Chinese characters. This point, I'll partly concede. After all, our memories are reinforced by being connected to other similar memories. So the memory of how to write a character can help you better remember a character's meaning or pronunciation. Except this did not help me much personally in practice. I found that learning the vocabulary words that include the character, or learning the components within a character, which I did via Hansa Hero, was far more useful. If we go back to our memory model, this makes sense. Learning writing just gives us one more data point that is connected to our memory of the character, while knowing the sounds, components, and words related to the character gives us many data points to help reinforce that memory. So yes, writing characters can help your memory of them, but less than you think. I'd rather reinforce my memory with additional useful information, not a useless skill. The purpose I have for making this video is to counteract the advice I see online around writing. However, I have nothing against writing per se. In fact, I plan to study and practice Chinese calligraphy at some point. So if writing characters by hand brings you joy, then you should practice regardless of how useful it is. The most important part about learning any language is to enjoy the process. After all, the more we enjoy what we learn, the more progress we make. But if you are interested in understanding TV shows, reading Chinese books, or speaking Chinese, then don't feel like you have to learn how to write Chinese characters. You don't. 我没有学过写字，但我的中文真不错。If this video was useful to you, let me know with a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos about learning Chinese. And if you want to learn Chinese characters, try out our web application for free at HansaHero.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.